Hello guys and gals. This is Eric and this is Chad from the IV8888 channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. I'm actually Paul Harrell. Who are you? Uh, I, I can't think of you. Yeah, this buffalo here. I've got my buddy Jason over here with me. Last week when we did the cut shell versus drywall, I had several of you mention in the comment section that you'd like to see some wax slugs done the same way. So I've made up a few here. Uh, wax slugs, of course, you just use ordinary wax, candle wax, crayons, pretty much anything will do. This happens to be Gulf wax. It's made for uh, canning or uh, uh, candle making, whatever. But what you do is you bind the bird shot together with wax. This is a typical bird shot load. Just a bunch of number eight BBs. With the wax, you bind that all together and make a single projectile. Uh, Barry Elliott from the IV88 channel, 8888 channel, uh, had some great videos. Uh, Barry's missed in the YouTube community, of course, he passed away, but he had some great videos on wax slugs. Uh, another resource would be the Talflater Mouse channel. He's got that high speed camera where he can show us actually how they fly through the air and uh, all sorts of neat stuff the impact, the energy dump, uh, really good stuff on that channel. But today we're just going to do a simple test and shoot into the drywall and see how far it gets before the bird shot disperses and, and just peters out. What do you think? Pretty interesting. The cut shell was definitely impressive. I'm anxious to see what this is gonna do. What do you think it's gonna do? Mm, I'm gonna say nine. Nine nine drywall pieces. We got what, was it 11 out of the cut Three, shell? Yeah, I think it was. It's, that was pretty impressive. So I'm gonna say we're gonna do a little less than the cut shell, but I may be wrong. If you guys want to take a guess, now's the time to do it because we're about to light this up. All right, guys, before we shoot it into the drywall, I'm going to shoot one over the chronograph and see what kind of speed we're getting. These are the same shells we used last week in the cut shell video. They're Winchester AA target loads. They're a super handicap load. Rated at 1,250 feet per second. Now we only got about 1,062 feet per second out of that cut shell. Let's see what we get out of the wax slug. Twelve hundred and four feet per second. So that's more like it. We are using a short barreled shotgun, so I knew we wasn't going to get that 1,250 feet per second that was advertised. So. Let's put one in the drywall. All right, guys, I want to try to give you just a little better visual here of what a wax slug actually is. This is your wad, your shot cup, and this is your bird shot with the wax. And all the wax is is just an inexpensive binder to hold that bird shot together until it hits the target. Now, as you've seen, this little slug's moving along at just over 1,200 feet per second. Or for you guys that keep bugging me to use the metric system, that comes to about 800 miles an hour. So we, we're going to see what kind of damage that'll do. All right. Moment of truth. What do you guys think? Go ahead and put in the comments section how many you think we're going to bust with this uh, wax slug. You know, one of the downsides of wax slugs in the summertime, especially in a hot car, They'll melt and make a mess. They'll, they'll just come apart on you. We ain't got to worry about that today. It's about 30 degrees out here. So uh, let's do this. You know what? I'll tell you what, since Jason's a guest over here, I'm going to let him do it. Come on over here and fire this wax slug into the drywall. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> All right, so see how many we got here. Done really well. As you can see here in the first, uh, first piece of drywall, we caught our caught our plastic wadding 
and the wadding did, you know, being that close, we were only about, what is that, 12 feet away? Probably 12 feet. And being that close, I didn't know if the wadding would actually separate from the wax slug or not, but, but it did. So it did its job. This second hole is from the wadding. Nice little round hole where the wax slug went in. No bird shot holes. So we go to the second. Holes bigger. You can see just a couple of bird shot holes. Number three, getting bigger every time. <laughs> a little, few more bird shot around it. Four, we got a pretty massive hole there. Wow. Number five. Look at that. Number six. Where did all that cocaine come from? <laughs> Number seven. What? Number eight. Nine. We've already went farther than what I guessed. Ten. And number 11, look at this. 10 has a hole blown clean through. That's number weird. 11 doesn't have a scratch on it. <laughs> not one, not one pock mark or anything from a piece of bird shot. The cut so it hit 10 and blow plumb through it and didn't leave a mark on number 11. That's, that's pretty impressive for a wax slug in my opinion. Those things are a lot of fun, especially if you've got an old single shot shotgun where you can keep an eye on that bore. Uh, cheap to make. That's the key. A lot of people want to use hot glue and stuff like that, but right. wax is just inexpensive. You can get it for free if you've got some old candles laying around or some old crayons. Uh, I bought the wax for this one just because I didn't have any laying around, but even buying it, I gave like two bucks for enough wax to last me all year. Right. So uh, cheap to make, and you use cheap, the idea is to use cheap birdshot rounds to uh, to use, so kind of fun to get out and play with. You've always got to be careful anytime you mess with ammunition. Of course, if you do that, it's your responsibility. Whatever happens, if you mess up, that's on you. So that's all I got today. You you want to add anything? Pretty impressive alternative, I, especially in a pinch. It could come in handy. I think so. <laughs> you guys, remember. All the links to my other social media accounts are always they're always in the description below. I include them in every video. I've got Facebook, got Instagram where I share a lot of pictures and stuff like this. Uh, got a Patreon account. I haven't done a done a full rollout of that Patreon yet, and I've already got several of you guys over there. That's really appreciated. Any little bit helps. Um, that's all I really got. I'll talk with you guys again soon. Guys, I've got white powdery substance all over my shotgun. Looks suspiciously like cocaine. But bonus footage here. Wax slug versus water jug. I've got a couple of pieces of drywall behind the water jug to see how much we penetrate after we blow the water jug up. Better grab my glasses. Being this close to it, something may come back off of it. Gosh, <laughs> I'm drowned. Wow. Clean my shotgun. <laughs>
16 pieces of bird shot there that barely penetrated that paper outer. Didn't, didn't come nowhere near close to going through it. Pretty neat. Wax slug, 40 yards on a steel plate. Got him. Pretty good. <laughs> good shooting. <laughs>